Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Mari Dominguez and you're watching a little bit of everything. On today's video, I'm going to show you how I made this very cute, super easy to do utensil dispenser. We're purposing quite a few items and all in all, only cost about $2 to do. So, looking pretty cute, right? It is for a church barbecue that we're having. With that being said, let's continue on with this video. So for today's video, we're going to be needing the following. Three cans, any size you prefer. I bought the wax basket liners and the burlap ribbon at the Dollar Tree, which was actually the only items that I purchased for this video. The rest I already had on hand, like for example, the gingham cloth, and obviously you're going to be needing hot glue gun and glue sticks. So without further ado, let's continue on with this video. Alrighty guys, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're going to glue the cans together. You can glue them any which way you want. You can glue them side by side, or you can glue them like I'm, like I'm planning on doing, which is um, angled. So it makes like a little triangle. So first, lay down the glue, right? And be very careful because once the tin hits, the glue hits the tin, it gets very hot and it kind of burns. So, you know, I learned last year, like I said, I made these for at the Father's Day centerpieces. They were quite a hit because our theme last year for Father's Day at church was barbecue. One can down, and let's go to the other one. And it's super, super quick and easy to do. And it's a very good idea for, you know, dispensing utensils and in a barbecue or, or picnic, outdoor, or anything. So far, this is how they look together. You see? Nice and shiny. Now you wanna also glue the two outer ones just to give it a better hold. And then we're going to measure out the burlap and you can do it like individually if you like, or you can do it as a whole, which is how I'm doing it. I prefer to just use the burlap on the whole thing. Just measure out how, how much you need and then just cut and glue. A little dab of glue will hold it. This little rustic, shabby chic, whatever we want to call it, dispenser, utensil dispenser. nice and even in the middle and just come back to the other end and just glue down again okay these little strings can be annoying sometimes okay so there's part phase two of our little project and now since we're still going with the whole rustic rustic shabby chic so what I did was I cut off the end and I ripped it okay I ripped it to give it that rough edge so I already did one prior this is how it looks see all nice and ripped Make sure you use the right side of the material. And what we're going to do is just we're going to wrap it around in the center of the burlap. We're going to make a little bow. And it's done. I 
and all in all it just cost me two dollars to do right because we purchased the burlap ribbon and i purchased the the wax basket liner tissue paper and i purchased those at the dollar tree so just two dollars to make because everything else was repurposed i happen to have this material on hand and um and that's it cut off the little ends here to give it that little rough rough bow you can also glue put a little bit of glue on it if you want it to a firmer hold and then what we're going to do is going to take the wax tissue and for the big can i'm going to use the whole one and we're just going to stuff it in there and fill it up so we get all the way to the bottom You can leave a few edges out to give it, you know, that little barbecue picnic feel. And then the second one, since it's smaller cans, I'm just going to cut the tissue paper in half. Cut the tissue paper in half, and then we'll just be laying it into, into the cans, into the smaller cans. Like I said, you can use any size cans you like. You don't have to use exactly the ones I use. Stuff it in there. Like three different size cans would be cool too. Like the bigger one, then the medium size, and then the small one. And I think that's how I did them last year. I just never made a video on it, but it came out so cute and everybody loved it. The thing is, my twist on them last year was that I also purchased at the Dollar Tree those little um, children's toys that are little utensils. The spatula, the spoon, and the fork and all that. And I put the burlap on, but then I glued those utensils on the outside. I didn't put the ribbon. But this looks way barbecue. What do you think, guys? What do you think? Isn't that cute? Look how it looks on the bottom. You know they're, they're all glued together. And look how it looks in the back. Then we just stuff it with the utensils. And we have a very cute, very unique utensil dispenser. So, guys, once again, thanks for watching. Thanks for tuning in. I'm trying to be as crafty with you guys as possible. If you guys actually saw my kitchen, you would see that it's a total mess with all the projects that I do have to do. I just haven't been able to find the time to do it. And I apologize. But I'm trying to at least do one video a week. Alrighty, guys. So thank you. Thank you for watching. Um, if you haven't already done so, please consider subscribing to my channel and, uh, and sharing, commenting, liking my videos. And don't forget to hit that notification bell. So you're notified every time I post a new video. So guys, blessings to you all. And once again, thank you.